be loud than that. Come yes, on. Yes, 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 PDS. 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 Okay. A massive thank you to all those who are here today to show support to the Palestinian people who now need our solidarity more than ever. Rain or shine. Let's tell them, there's always time for Palestine. Yeah. So let's begin by telling them that in our thousands and in our millions, we are all Palestinians. In our thousands, in our millions, we are all Palestinians. We have to keep fighting injustice, not only for Palestine's sake, but for humanity, for human rights, against supremacy, against racism, and against imperialism. This aggression, this oppression, this injustice, that Palestinians have been going through for 71 years. We will not stand for it anymore. We will not stand for the normal normalization of apartheid occupation and settler colonialism. As Israel continues to violate international law and human rights, there is a responsibility on the global community to hold it to account. And the UK government must be one of them. So let's make some noise and let's tell our government that racism, occupation and apartheid
proud to stand here today in solidarity with the people of Palestine. We're proud every day, every week, to stand in solidarity, but today never more so, because we've heard these terrible leaks this week and this appalling, shameful so-called deal being uh, prepared by the Trump administration. It's nothing more than a complete trashing, an attempt to destroy the cause of the Palestinian people and their rightful sovereignty and independence. I know we all share that view today. But it's not the only thing that Trump has done this week that is threatening to destroy any semblance of peace in the Middle East and put an end to the possibility of a just and peaceful future for the people of the region. As you may know, he stepped up the sanctions on Iran, he's moving military facilities, a greater military escalation to the Middle East, and he's stepping up his war rhetoric against Iran. And what is the root of his hostility to Iran? He thinks that Iran is trying to get nuclear weapons. Iran is not trying to get nuclear weapons. It's in a treaty uh, proving that it won't do that, which Trump has pulled out of. The reality is, Trump backs the only nuclear weapon state in the Middle East, which is Israel. There is no challenge to Ill Israel's illegal possession of nuclear weapons. It's if Iran is being published, punished for not having them, and Israel is being congratulated and supported for its illegal possession. We have to defend the people of Palestine. Thank you. But I would like to bring uh, solidarity to everybody here and indeed to the people of Palestine from the RMT Union, which is the transport union here in Britain. And on a personal level, uh, from someone who suffered under British imperialism in the north of Ireland, I've got every sympathy with the people of Palestine, where Israel was set up to be the Ulster in the Middle East by British imperialism. In the 1980s in Ireland, there was a group of workers in Dunn stores, and Dunn stores is like a big general store, it sells food and it sells clothing. And what those workers in Dunn stores in the 1980s refused to do was handle any goods that came from apartheid South Africa. And that should really be the role of the organized working class in this country. People should fail it and people should refuse to handle Israeli goods in any shops or in any supermarkets. Because a boycott is one thing on a personal level. Organized workers getting involved takes it to a completely different level. So it's all right getting up here and talking in platitudes and words of solidarity, but let's have some action from the trade unions. Let's refuse to handle Israeli goods. A massive thank you to all those who are here today to show support to the Palestinian people who now need our solidarity more than ever. Rain or shine, let's tell them there's always time for Palestine. Apartheid you are 
www.watchglobalvision.com Global Vision is our alternative to Eurovision. There will be a lot of Palestinian and European artists streaming from uh, London, Dublin, Bethlehem, Haifa, Gaza, uh, lots of places. So remember that, www.watchglobalvision.com Watch that instead of Eurovision. It'll be much more fun. Now what we're here to do is make absolutely abundantly clear that our solidarity is never with Donald Trump and Benjamin Netanyahu. Our solidarity is with Ibrahim Abu Thuraya, who was killed sitting on his wheelchair by the IDF. Our solidarity is with Razan and Najjar, who was killed clearly identified as a medic by the IDF. Our solidarity is with Yasser Murtaja, who was killed with the word press written across his chest. Our solidarity is not with a corrupt political elite which is selling out those people. Our solidarity is with those people who are coming forward every single Friday trying to return home, as is their right. I'm not going to take up too much time. The song we're going to do now is called Long Live Palestine. I just want to practice something with you all. When I say Long Live Palestine, I want every single person that can hear me here to shout back at me, Long Live Gaza, Long Live Gaza. Are you with me? Yes. This is for Palestine of Quds, the capital Jerusalem. I know I'm people walking to the border and they're shooting them. Suppression is a question. Resistance is the answer. Long Live Palestine. Long Live Gaza. Palestine, Ramallah, West Bank, Gaza. This is for the child that is searching for an answer. Wish I could take your tears and replace them with laughter. Long live Palestine! Long live Palestine! Long live Palestine! Okay, drop that beat if we can. We are hands up in the air! West Bank, this is for the child that is searching for an answer. Wish I could take your tears and replace them with laughter. Long live Palestine! Palestine! West Bank, this is for the child that is searching for an answer. Wish I could take your tears and replace them with laughter. Long live Palestine! While well, we listen to tunes made by ignorant fools, Israel, loving you and come delivering with food. They bring in the troops and we won't even click to the news. Make money. And this is not simply a question of different views. Forget emotions, this is facts. What I spit is the truth. It's not about if you're a Christian or if you're a Jew. They're just people living in different conditions to you. They still die when you bomb their schools. Mosques and hospitals, it's not because of rockets. Please, God, can you stop this all? I'm not related to the strangers on the TV. But I relate, because those strangers could have been me. Words can never, ever explain the raw tragedy. It's not a war, they're just murdering more. Rapidly, and we are automatically supporting people. Your savagery. Imagine how you feel if this was your family. Put your hands up in the air.
free, 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 free. If you're blind, I'm a bootle. I could resist without a wheelchair. Ten year challenge, tell reggae we are still here. And tell that killer that in your heart, he should feel fear. Old if you watch, guarantee the children will care. Criminal, not invincible, and you know it's Armadillo, Armadillo still sitting in the stoic. May not feel us with you when you listen to our poems. You inspire humanity. Your resistance is heroic. Regardless of talk, it's time we answer the call. Give you strength and spirit. You provide example for all. How to live, how to love when attacked from the clouds above. Soldiers, you so can't be drowned by the sound of guns. Or we'll just watch your tragic times through a satellite dish. The least that we can give you is an anthem like this. They panic, try to sanitize and analyze this. But we love you more than ever. Still, Palestine lives. But I'm up there. This is for Palestine, Ramallah, West Bank, Gaza. This is for the child that is searching for an answer. Wish I could take your tears and replace them with laughter. Long live Palestine! Palestine, Ramallah, West Bank, Gaza. This is for the child that is searching for an answer. Wish I could take your tears and replace them with laughter. Long live Palestine! 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 Thank you very much. Peace and love. to please clear the stage because we have some Daifka dancers from the Hawiya Dance Company. Asking trade union members to effect positive change in an economy that is beyond stagnation. We found out that the minimum wage for Palestinians is set at just one quarter of the minimum wage set for Israeli workers. Here marching with us today. Thank you for joining us. I have to speak of the impact of the massacre in Janine that we witnessed firsthand. Janine is a huge refugee camp with astronomical levels of poverty. Communities live on bread and chickpeas. Children have little access to education and there is no proper health care. Communities are scarred by conflict and loss. We must expose these war crimes. We must speak out for Palestinians. We must work with the global community to hold to account all who violate human rights in this way. Bring peace for Palestinians, a place for Palestinians, and justice for Palestine. Thank you. Yes, yes, BDS. Yes, yes, BDS. Oh, come on, we can be louder than that, can't we? Yes, yes, BDS. Yes, yes, BDS. Yes, yes, BDS. Yes, yes, BDS. Natural resources originating in illegal settlements and occupied territories. We are clear, Ireland should not be importing goods and services that are only available because of gross human rights abuses, war crimes and disregard for international law. Sinn Féin proudly supports the BDS campaign which calls for an economic, cultural and academic boycott of Israel. And I would encourage everyone to join the BDS campaign. Every act of solidarity is important, on the streets and on the web. Next week, the Eurovision Song Contest will take place in Israel. Ireland, Ireland and Britain should not be participating. That there will be no peace in the world, no stability in the Middle East, without justice for the Palestinian people. The shooting dead of hundreds of unarmed protesters at the boundary of Gaza and the wounding of thousands more shocked the world. 
Israel's government asked to be judged by the same standards of other democracies in the world. Yet I believe no democracy would it respond with such excessive and indiscriminate force. Likewise, what other demo democratic government would pass a law like the nation-state law agreed last year? By all the standards of democratic civilization, the nation-state law is an outrage. And I've got to tell you, I am so pleased and proud that our union is fully committed to the support of the Palestinians and of the Solidarity Movement. So at our conference over Easter, there was an overwhelming support to affiliate to the Palestine Solidarity Campaign. At our national executive, we agreed to support this demonstration. So we know, we know that we are an education union in this country. But we know that rights are indivisible and international solidarity is essential. We need rights everywhere. Children need, not right, need rights everywhere and teachers need rights. But when we look to Palestine, to occupied Palestine, to illegally occupied Palestine, we see those rights are compromised and held back and actively opposed by the occupier. I'm very proud to be chair of the Palestine Solidarity Campaign, but I'm proud to tell you that I come from Jerusalem, the capital of Palestine. Irony is important, and it's ironic. We're standing here next to the foreign office. The place where in 1917, the British government, a British minister, promised the homeland of the Palestinian people, my homeland, to a people who didn't come from that land without asking the Palestinian. What a shameful agreement, the letter that was that Balfour sent. I was told there might be two thousands joining this demonstration. Then they changed it, maybe four thousands. Maybe 5,000. I am looking at 10,000 people today. And it is so inspiring to see so much of you, so many people out here. And friends, it is truly humbling to see that all of you are coming out for Palestine. and her family personify, personify us, the Palestinians, the people of Palestine, the cause of Palestine, the struggle of Palestine, the bravery of Palestine. Did you see her bravery? She is Palestine. She is Palestine. بالروح بالدم نفديك يا فلسطين فري فري بالستاين فري فري بالستاين فري فري بالستاين it is through her bravery and the bravery of the many the millions of Palestinian fighters for freedom millions of Palestinian mothers Fathers, it is through her and her bravery that we drive our strength, our steadfastness, our resolute, and our hope. Our hope. We thank you for your conscience, my friends, for your activism, because that colonial arrogance was never redressed until this very day. We were wrong, we were wrong when we were dispossessed 71 years ago and on God. I end my friends, I end my friends by saying this. We just want to remind you that occupation is wrong, not, it will not end on its own, it will end because of people like you. The act that you have been doing the acts that millions of Palestinians have been doing 
the act that is coming in the streets today, they act like you to end this occupation, and they act like our next speaker. They act like our next speaker. Please, it gives me a warm, give her a warm welcome to Her Excellency, Her Excellency. For surely she is the true ambassador of the people of Palestine, Ahad Tamimi. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. First, I want to thank you all. It was your voice that kept me strong while being in the Israeli prison. I want to thank you for your support and solidarity, for your, for your everything that you are doing to, to help our cause. I don't wish to speak today about our suffering under Israeli colonialism. Um, I don't want for our story to be written as a one, as a victimhood, and I refuse, and I refuse to be divided by it. We choose to struggle for freedom and justice. We choose to be a freedom fighters. Injustice anywhere, injustice everywhere. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Thank you. Luther King said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We in the labour movement can be proud of our long tradition of speaking out against injustice. In fact, the founder of the Labour Party, Keir Hardie, was outspoken against war, outspoken against militarism and outspoken against occupation. So I'm proud to see on this march a Labour and Palestine bloc aiming to bring together all those working in the labour movement in support of the human rights of the Palestinian people. Palestinians participating in peaceful demonstrations against human rights abuses by the right-wing government of Israel shouldn't be killed, shouldn't be shot, shouldn't be injured. And Palestinians and other minorities in Israel itself should live free from discriminatory laws by a right-wing Israeli government. As Shadow Secretary of State for Justice, I want to say that Palestinian children should not face trials in military courts and Palestinian children should not be facing those trials in a language that they don't speak or understand. And Palestinians have the right to be protected by international law. Comrades, our ongoing solidarity with the Palestinian people is a defence of justice and a defence of human rights. And it's an act of solidarity with human rights defenders, including those in Israel, such as the Bet Salem organisation and Breaking the Silence. But sadly, sadly, our government lags behind the international community on this issue. But a Labour government with Jeremy Corbyn as Prime Minister with an internationalist as Prime Minister will rightly be at the forefront of tackling this injustice. Jeremy Corbyn is right to say that when we take power, a Labour government will recognise a Palestinian state immediately. To help a two-state settlement become a reality based upon international law and justice. And friends, the Labour Party membership was right to pass policy at our conference last year, strengthening solidarity with the Palestinian people. 
demonstrations we've ever had on Palestine. And I think it's the most one of the most important for this reason, not just because it is the anniversary of the Nakba, the catastrophe when Palestinians were driven from their homes and their lands, not just because we are celebrating that anniversary at a time when Donald Trump and Benjamin Netanyahu are trying to destroy even more of Palestinian land and Palestinian livelihood. We're here to say that the Palestinians have the right to return to Palestine. Every Jew in the world, every Jewish person in the world has the right to go and live in the state of Israel. But this is a right which is denied to the Palestinians even though their parents and grandparents and great-grandparents live there. And this is a basic injustice which has to end. And we have to support its ending. But I also think this demonstration is important because of what it says about our solidarity movement. We have to build this movement into a mass movement which can prevent what is happening to the Palestinians and show solidarity with the Palestinians. Because what Trump is doing with moving the embassy to Jerusalem, with recognizing Israel's rights over Golan and the West Bank, large parts of the West Bank, what he's doing is trying to ensure that there is no existence of the Palestinian people. We say the Palestinians have the right to exist, they have the right to resist, and we will back them if with every bone in our body to make sure that they can do that. I'm very pleased to be here at this rally today to restate my lifelong commitment to justice for the Palestinians. And Jeremy Corbyn, yeah. the leader of the Labour Party, yeah. and hopefully one day soon our Prime Minister, yeah. has asked me to read out this statement from him. Yeah. Jeremy says, we cannot stand by or stay silent at the continuing denial of the rights and justice to the Palestinian people. Yes. Yes. Jeremy goes on, the Labour Party is united in condemning the human rights abuses taking part, place in Gaza and the Israeli forces shooting unarmed Palestinian de demonstrators for simply demanding their rights under international law. He goes on, last week's escalation of violence during the raids on Gaza, killing 25 Palestinians and four Israelis, is both distressing, dangerous, and a reminder of the risk that full-scale conflict can return at any time. Yeah. Jeremy says, the silence of many governments, including our own, has been deafening. Yeah. Yeah. The UK government should instead unequivocally condemn the killing of the demonstrators, including children, paramedic, paramedics and journalists, and freeze arms sales to Israel. We stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people and their struggle for rights, supported by Israeli peace and justice campaigners. A sustainable peace that delivers peace, justice and security to both Palestinians and Israelis is a necessity and an interest that we all share. But peace cannot be achieved while the illegal occupation and settlement of Palestinian land continues, along with multiple human rights abuses faced by Palestinians. If President Trump's Middle East plan is an attempt to bury the Palestinians' rights to a viable state alongside Israel, we call on the British government and the international community to reject President Trump's Middle East plan 
decisively. No plan can succeed at the expense of the rights of the Palestinian people. And Jeremy ends this statement, that is why Labour will recognise a Palestinian state and, and press for an immediate return to meaningful negotiations aimed at achieving a lasting settlement based on UN resolutions, international law and justice too long denied.